Welcome to the 3C Live Experience, a dynamic, multiracial, fast-growing church with thousands of believers filled with passion for God and for people. Let's join 3C in this live experience. It's good to be in the house of the Lord, and, and really, we have been so blessed this weekend, and the Lord has really touched our hearts. Now, I don't want to waste any more time because we got Pastor Cesar and Pastor Emma Claudia are in the house today. Come on, give them a great hand. And we are so thankful towards them. Hallelujah. And won't you stand up on your feet? Come on, just there where you are. Let's give them a great hand of welcome. Hallelujah. Fuerte ese aplauso a Jesús. And let me hear you praising Jesus loud. Pueden tomar sus asientos. You may be seated. Bueno, yo creo que una de las bendiciones más grandes que pueda tener el siervo de Dios es que el Señor le dé la compañera correcta. Y el Señor me dio esta compañera. Desde que la conocí, Ever since I met her, mi corazón quedó apegado a ella. Was so connected to her. Solamente llevamos 46 años de matrimonio. And we've been married now for 46 years. Y nos And amamos como cuando nos casamos. We love one another as we did the day we got married. Recuerde que la senda del justo es como la luz de la aurora que, que va en aumento hasta que el día es perfecto. Remember that the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn growing ever brighter until the day is perfect. Y por eso en el matrimonio, marriage, cuando es el matrimonio correcto, when it is the right kind of marriage, el amor nunca merma. Love never ceases, siempre sigue creciendo always increases hasta que el día es pleno. Until the day is perfect. Gracias a esta bendición. I'm so grateful for God blessing me with her. Ya tenemos 15 nietos. Now we have 15 grandchildren. Esa es bendición del Señor. That is a real blessing from God. Y todos con un ánimo de servir And al every Señor. Every one of them with a great desire to serve God. Y me gustaría que hoy so, mi amada esposa I'd like for my wife les compartiera to share with you algo de lo que el Señor le ha ministrado. Amén. Así es como me ha motivado todos estos años. That's what he's done all these years. El Espíritu del Señor le dice a Sudáfrica. And the Spirit of the Lord says to South Africa. Este es un nuevo tiempo. It's a new day. Porque yo quitaré las aguas amargas que muchos han bebido en sus matrimonios pero más aún traeré jóvenes que tendrán una meta un sueño y es levantar una and, generación para Dios and that is to raise a generation for God. porque les daré la revelación de the mi palabra says, I will give them revelation from my word. y no jugarán con los sentimientos de las jovencitas and young men will not play with, uh, young porque tendrán una naturaleza distinta For they will have a different nature. Eh, de santidad a nature of holiness. entenderán lo que es el pacto y a través de esa decisión en su corazón And through that decision of being under covenant, Dios removerá la maldición en el suelo de este país the de Lord will remove the curse that's in the soil of South Africa levantaré jóvenes y mujeres and the Lord says I will raise young men and women que entrarán That will come, y escucharán los cánticos nupciales. And they will hear the wedding songs. Serán invitados los ángeles. And the angels will join together. Y estarán frente al altar. And they will stand before the altar. Y serán hombres de, de pacto. And will become people of covenant. 
porque entenderán lo que es el poder de la sangre del Cordero de Dios For they will understand the power of being under covenant in the blood of Jesus y cuando levanten la copa and when they take the cup que es lo que simboliza la sangre y el pan symbol of the blood and the body ellos están dando en sacrificio sus vidas they are offering their lives in sacrifice en el altar. At the altar. Y por eso sus matrimonios and that's why their marriages serán un oasis will be like an oasis en medio de tantas dificultades. In the midst of so many trials and difficulties. El Señor traerá una unción nueva en and los encuentros matrimoniales. And the Lord says that he will bring a new anointing to the marriage encounters. Todo hombre, mujer que venga en tristeza. And every man and woman who comes in sadness. Que tienen quebrantado los corazones. Who comes with a broken heart. Por haber sufrido una traición. Because of betrayal that they suffered. Una separación. Or separations that they suffered. En este lugar. As they come. En los altares. When they come to the altar. Que hay en diferentes lugares. That is established este in the different places of this Yo, country. Dice el Espíritu Santo, traeré medicina. The Spirit of the Lord says, I will bring medicine. Y esa medicina. And that medicine. Sanará corazones. Will bring healing to the hearts. Y, y entrarán. And they shall come in. Entrarán en mi altar. Into my altar. Serán invitados. The Lord says they will be my guests. Y ahí. And at the altar, el Señor derramará bendición. The Lord will pour out his blessing. A la primera generación. On the first generation. A la segunda. On to the a second tercera, generation, on to the cuarta, third and fourth. A la quinta. And fifth generation, on to the sixth generation. Aún el gobierno y las autoridades. And even the government and the authorities. Entenderán que hay una unción nueva en la iglesia. understand that there is a new anointing in the church. Y, y traerán a sus enfermos. Will bring the sick. A sus enfermos enfermedades emocionales people that have emotional sicknesses aquellos que están en luto y en dolor those who are mourning who are experiencing por haber pain pasado por un divorcio because they experience divorce y aquí conocerán al Dios de segunda oportunidad but here they will come to know the God of second chances es como que el Señor cambiará el agua insípida is saying that he will turn the bitter water y traerá el vino nuevo and he will bring a new wine y ese vino nuevo es mejor and that new wine is better pastores Pastors Leaders. and leaders, Todos los que predican, and all you who preach, viene un vino nuevo para ti. the Lord says a new wine is coming Cuando for you. Abras las escrituras, When you open the scriptures, vas a entender la palabra, you will have understanding vas of the word. Quebrantar, vas you a sentir que es el Espíritu Santo will be que te broken. Está hablando. You will feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you. Vas a poder enseñar. And then you will be able to teach. Y vas a poder eh, administrar ese vino. And you'll be able to manage that ese vino wine. representa la unción. Because the wine ese represents vino the anointing. representa la, la unción, pero también la misericordia, the wine la represents consolación. Anointing, but also mercy and also Eso comfort. viene a sus células. That comfort that God viene brings into the cell groups, into the encounters. Viene a to, en todo lugar donde se predique este evangelio. And in every place where this gospel is preached. Ese vino nuevo vendrá a nuestros hijos. That new wine will come over jóvenes, our children. It will come niños. over the young people and y the children. Y la maldición and the curse será erradicada del país. Will be eradicated será from this country. Será erradicada del país. Yes, it will be y eradicated from this country and the Lord says I will stop orphanhood and so many children dolor, that have been victims of pain that have been madre. deprived from having a father and Pero a mother Señor but the Lord vino, says I'm bringing a new wine extiendan sus brazos a new wine so you could stretch your arms open a mis niños and embrace my children esos and embrace the little ones who need a message of hope Yo traeré the Lord says I will bring de an anointing for adoption es una it's para, an anointing para traer to a esos niños que están en dolor. Bring the little ones that are in pain. Y yo los sanaré. And I will heal them. Y los plantaré en mi casa. And I will plant them in y my serán house. árboles frondosos. And they shall become fruitful trees. Y darán fruto. And they will bear fruit. Darán fruto abundante. They will bear abundant fruit. Y yo pondré mi unción en ellos. And I will release my anointing eso, upon them. Por eso este es tu tiempo, iglesia. So this is este your time, es tu church. Tiempo your time has come. Para esta nación de, Sud de Sudáfrica. The time has come for South Africa. El cielo que era de bronce. The the heavens that were shut down la tierra que estaba estéril, and the soil that was barren el Señor dice, the Lord says cambio, 
I bring change in the season because the heavens open over this nation. Your prayers will be heard and the presence of the Lord will be at every altar, at the altars at church, but also in the altar in your home, the altar that is in your heart. And the Lord touches the soil of this land and the Lord says this is a good land, a land flowing with honey and milk, a land of revival, a land for growth, and more so, the Lord says, I anoint your children. Your children will preach my word, and I will do a new thing. I will change their garments, and they will wear priestly garments. Yes, they will come into my holy of holies, and they will be at my altar, and they will see my glory. En su presencia. They will be in my es que presence. Sobre and the sun is rising y upon you. Es lo que haré. And this is what I'll do, el says Señor the Lord. The Lord quitará todo, toda mancha, will remove every todo dolor, stain of pain toda pena, and all guilt. Todo lo que afligido por años. and all of that which has brought affliction for years and the Lord says I'll give you a new story when you testify lo que Dios ha hecho, of what God has done será tal la sanidad, there will be such healing que ustedes pensarán, that you will think eso me ocurrió a mí, did this really happen to me parece que hubiera sido otra persona, because it feels as if it had y es que Dios hace todo nuevo. but God does all things new Él hace en ti una nueva mujer. he turns you into a new woman Nunca más. and never again Nunca más. and never again por esa, por ese horno de fuego. will you go through that fiery furnace again Nunca más. never again will you be hurt El Señor entra en un pacto contigo. because the Lord comes into covenant with Nadie you te no one will be able Porque to harm you como yo cuido because a mis hijas, just as I take a mis care of my daughters and my sons niña de mis ojos, you are the apple of my eye defenderé. and I will defend yo, you I will defend you. It is a Dios. new thing that comes from the Spirit El of God. Señor traerá and the Lord will bring familias sacerdotales, priestly families. He will raise genuinos, priestly families, real pastors, pastors, que aman las ovejas, pastors who really love sheep, pastors, que por pastors su rey, who really intercede for the pastores flocks. Que Dan un alimento real. Pastors who genuinely feed no the flocks. Pastos pintados por el diablo. Not no. with uh, pastures that are painted by the es devil. No. Lo que dice el Salmo 23. It's as it says in Psalm 23. Pastos I will bring you to green pastures. El pastor de pastores the shepherd of dirigirá. shepherds will guide you and lead you. Aún. And more so, El Señor traerá the Lord will give you discernment. Un que es un don que viene a discernment Santo. which is a gift that comes from Los the Holy Spirit. Pastors will have great discernment. Quién tiene la and Dios will know who Santo. is truly anointed by the Spirit. La who is truly speaking vida, the word that brings life, sanidad, that brings healing, that brings deliverance, libertad, that brings freedom. Y lo and they will understand y serán and you'll have a zeal altar. In the, at the altar you will have discernment as to who should sing who should play no the instruments you're not going to be deceived no. by people's talents no talento, yes there will be talent with a good heart with a heart for God and you will know who has opened the es door to the enemy Donde yo la it iglesia. is a time where the Lord says I will protect my Traeré church el don de I will bring the gift Porque of intercession says the Lord que for I need many vallado, to, una, un cerco de to, uh, to raise a wall of protection de las ovejas, around the sheep del gobierno, and around the government of this Señor nation and the Lord will hear your prayers when you intercede in the secret place when you receive promises and rhema words from God your intercession it's like an angel Escribe las oraciones que ustedes hacen en el secreto. will write the prayers that you pray in the secret place el Señor dice, and the Lord says y cuando es, Cuando lo hagan en mi nombre, when you pray in my name en el nombre de Jesús, in the name of Jesus en el nombre del Cordero in de the Dios, name of the Lamb of God yo 
the Lord says I will heal and I will prosper you and I will provide for you and I will bring growth to you and I will bring healing and I will bring freedom and this is what the Lord will do with this church this is what the Spirit of the Lord says to this church how about if you place your hand over your heart and you say Lord, let it be done unto me according to your word. I believe it. There will be healing. Yes, my marriage will be healed. Yes, there will be a new anointing. There will be a new wine. There will be discernment. I will have the gift of intercession. This is something new that is coming over us. It's coming to South Africa. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, if you believe that, give Jesus a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Esa es la bendición de estar bien casado. That is the blessing of being well married. Y después de como dos años de haber sufrido un atentado, uh, two years after we suffered an assassination attempt, estamos viajando para de, de Colombia a otra nación. My wife and I, we were traveling on a plane to another nation. Eh, fueron varias horas. And it was a long flight. Y mi esposa estaba leyendo un libro. And it turns out that my wife was reading a book. Pero yo ni sabía lo que estaba leyendo. I had no idea what she was reading. Pero antes de llegar a nuestro destino. But before the plane landed. El Señor me habla. The Lord spoke to me. Y me dice. And he said to me. Eh, tu esposa ha venido haciéndome preguntas me y quiero decirle you, eh, ella me preguntó me si lo que en ella operaba what was in her era el don profético o el ministerio profético y el Señor me dice Dile que lo que en ella opera es el ministerio profético. What is operating in her is the prophetic ministry. Ahora, ¿qué diferencia hay entre don y ministerio? Now, what difference is there between the prophetic gift and the prophetic ministry? El don ministry? es algo que pertenece a Dios. The prophetic gift is something that belongs to God. Y Dios lo presta a sus siervos. In God, it's like he lends it to his children. Y a veces cuando las personas and so parten, a lot of times when o por people, lo general cuando las personas parten, when people die, ese don vuelve a Dios that gift goes back to God. dice lo que en tu esposo opera God told me what is es el ministerio profético is the y el ministerio es parte del carácter And the is part of a de la persona character. y me dice el Señor And the Lord said to me, yo he puesto la lengua de ella I como mi lengua I have her tongue as my tongue ella tiene el poder de abrir los cielos y cerrar los cielos de abrir el mar y cerrar el mar y me mostró me lo, la, la unción que ella tenía y después de esa palabra word, mi esposa no es tanto wife, de, de, de decir el Señor so me dijo ella empieza a hablar y está fluyendo she proféticamente y hemos visto como el Señor ha respaldado cada palabra profética de lo que mi esposo hoy estaba hablando so es una dirección para las personas que están escuchando porque Dios quiere bendecirles de una manera sobrenatural y yo sé que este es el tiempo para ustedes ¿Cuántos dan un aplauso a Jesús? Y yo me considero el hombre más afortunado de estar casado con ella. To be to her. Eso es una gran bendición. She is a great to me. Porque Because tener una esposa sabia es de bendición. Is a great 
y yo sé que acá hay hogares donde here, a veces se entienden you understand one another, y otras veces no se entienden pero el Señor quiere que todas las parejas se entiendan siempre hombres so listen, men, sean cariñosos con la esposa be very sweet to your wife. si escucharon ese Did you hear what I just said? sean cariñosos be very sweet. denle en un lugar de importancia Give her a place of importance que ellas se sientan valoradas that your wife feel valued by you. no las traten como la persona que se encarga de hacer el oficio Don't en la casa no las traten como la persona que se encarga de hacer el oficio en la casa Trátelas como la esposa. But treat your wife as your wife. Si necesita alguien que le ayude en la casa, ponga dinerito y contrate a alguna persona que le ayude. Help you out at home, maybe pay someone to do that. Pero a su esposa trátela como esposa. But you treat your wife as your wife. ¿Cuántos dicen aleluya? Can anyone here say hallelujah? Amen. Amen. Por años estuve esperando que a mi esposa le cayera la unción de cocinar. For years I awaited for my wife to receive a cooking anointing. <laughs> y nunca le cayó esa unción. And it never fell upon her. <laughs> Pero me cayó a mí. It ended up falling upon me. Y le dije a mi esposa, wife, mi amor, no se preocupe. I said, honey, don't you worry. No todos tienen dones. Not everyone has that gift. De, de esa manera como you know, uno a veces quiere. You know, the gifts that some, some of us would like our wife to have. Pero tú tienes dones más importantes. But you have more important gifts than that. Por eso el Señor permitió que That's estuviese por tres décadas como senadora. Siempre ha sido una tremenda esposa, tremenda madre y una tremenda abuela. Y siempre hemos estado en armonía. In harmony. Que yo me casé con lo mejor de lo mejor. I the very best. Y esa es una bendición. And Sentir sentirse un honrado con el matrimonio When you with your marriage, y ahora si ustedes now, tienen un hogar home, y son cristianos pero no se llevan bien along, dejen de fingir ser cristianos stop that you're a compórtense como And cristianos like a real si algo tiene el hombre contra la mujer If you, as the husband, have something against your wife, no es para que se levante contra ella, It's not so that you rise up your wife, sino que sepa cómo atraer a la esposa. But it's for you to learn how to draw your wife. Si el hombre ha ofendido a la esposa, If you've your wife, sea sincero con ella. Be honest with your wife. Y dile, mi amor, perdóname, her, Honey, forgive me, porque no he sido una persona I justa contigo. Te he ofendido. I have offended you. Quiero que me perdones. I would like for you Eso to nunca más me. se volverá a repetir. I'm never do that again. Yo quiero hacerte la mujer I más feliz make you the de este mundo. Woman on this earth. Amén. Y los hombres que dicen. Come on. What, what do the men say? Say amen. <laughs> Un aplauso a Jesús. Come on. Jesus. Give Jesus a mighty hand of praise. En Marcos capítulo 5, Mark chapter 5, verso 25, verse 25 al 29, through verse 29, dice, pero una mujer says, Now, que desde hacía 12 años padecía del flujo de sangre y había sufrido mucho de muchos médicos many many y gastado todo lo que tenía y nada había aprovechado antes le iba peor cuando yo hablar de Jesús vino por detrás entre la multitud y tocó su manto porque decía si tocare tan solamente su manto seré salvo enseguida la fuente de su sangre se secó y y sintió en el cuerpo que estaba sana de aquel azote. 
Padre ministra nuestras vidas que hoy tu palabra nos sea revelada para que la entendamos la guardemos la declaremos y la practiquemos es en el nombre de Jesús gracias Señor amén y amén fe para conquistar el milagro yo creo que todos necesitamos un milagro I believe that we all need a miracle. y el caso de esta mujer In the case of this woman, 12 años padeciendo de un flujo de sangre todo su dinero lo invirtió en los médicos she y nada logró pero cuando yo hablar But de when Jesús she heard about Jesus, vino por detrás she entre came la multitud y tocó su manto algunos como que están en luchas, en pruebas, like en enfermedades, in sickness, y logran a través de otros medios encontrar el milagro. Means, Pero el milagro no se da. Pero cuando uno vuelve los ojos a Jesús, Jesus, de todo corazón, so ahí es hearts, cuando el milagro ocurre. Really Porque Jesús vino para deshacer todas las obras Because del diablo. Y la enfermedad no es obra de Dios. La enfermedad es un ataque satánico. Y a veces invierte tanto dinero en los médicos porque aún muchos cristianos le creen más a los médicos que a la palabra de Dios pero yo quiero decirles But I want to tell you, dejen eso a un lado you need to stop that. la palabra de Dios nunca falla the word of God never fails. si el Señor llevó sus enfermedades Él ya las llevó he bore those sicknesses for you. diga el Señor llevó Say, the Lord has borne sobre su cuerpo on his body mi enfermedad My sickness. Gloria a Dios por estos Praise dos que God repitieron for the few that it. <laughs> Diga conmigo Come on, say it with me. Doy gracias a Dios I am grateful to God Porque Él llevó because he has taken Todas mis enfermedades all my sickness Sobre su cuerpo on his body En la cruz del Calvario on the cross of Calvary. Y me dio sanidad And he has healed me. Diga, me dio sanidad. Say, he has healed me. O sea, a partir de hoy, so, from today forward, la enfermedad no debe estar más en su cuerpo. Must not be in your body anymore. Porque Jesús ya la Because llevó. Jesus has taken your sickness for you. Y esta mujer, so, this woman, que batalló por 12 años, who battled for 12 years, y no encontró la solución, but could not find a solution, ¿a dónde apeló? What did she do? A Jesús. She went to Jesus. Cuando mi esposa when, enfermó, when my wife estuvo sick, un mes hospitalizado. Era un problema en los riñones. It was a problem in her kidneys. Y no había remedio prácticamente para ella. And there was basically no remedy for her. Y, y esperé un buen tiempo so I a good while. y yo le dije, And I said, mi amor, en este hospital. In this hospital no estamos logrando nada. We're not really achieving anything being here. Te voy a llevar a la casa. I said, I'm going to take you back home. Los doctores me dijeron, the doctor said to me, tú no la puedes sacar. You can't take her out of the hospital. Le dije, claro que la I puedo said, sacar, yes, es I mi can. esposa. She's my wife. Si lo haces They contra said, su voluntad. If you do so, it's going to be under okay. your uh, responsibility. I Asumo said, la okay, responsabilidad. Well, I'll take the responsibility. Tiene que firmar acá. And you have to sign this document. Y si algo pasa, And if something tú eres happens, inculpable. you could be prosecuted. Okay. I said, okay. Y firmé. And I signed. La llevé a la casa. I took her home. Estuvo una semana. And she was there for a week. Y le pregunto, and I asked her, ¿cómo te sientes? How are you feeling? Mal. She said, not good. Dije, okay. I said, all right. Me fui a predicar so, un domingo. it was a Sunday, so I went to preach at our church. Y and el Señor me dio un mensaje the Lord led me to share a que tenía que ver con la sanidad. That had to do with healing. Regresé a mi casa. I came back after the first service los domingos tenemos varios, varias reuniones on Sundays. y llego a mi casa and y so le dije mi amor her, ¿cómo te sientes? How are you mal She said, Not well. le dije no me importa I said, It quiero que vayas I want you to come to the next y escuche me, and I want you to la enseñanza que el Señor, el señor me dio that the Lord has given me. y ella dijo ok She said, okay. fue so, se sentó en la primera fila service, row, escuchó el mensaje hizo la oración 
pero no sintió nada. But she didn't feel anything. Y luego yo le dije, And ¿cómo te sientes? I asked her, How are you feeling? Me dice igual. She said, I feel the same. Le dije, ok, vamos I a la casa. Ok, we're going to go back home. Y so, en poco tiempo, in a very short while, todo desapareció de su cuerpo. Suddenly she started feeling that all that sickness started la going away. Desapareció, that sickness completely todo disappeared. Desapareció. It all went away. No supimos cómo, we don't pero, know how. El Señor hizo el milagro. But we know that the Lord did the miracle. O sea, hay momentos so there are times donde Dios where God quiere sanar las personas. He wants to heal the people. Y las personas dicen, no, And people yo say, espero que el médico no, I'll just me diga cómo estoy. Pero se nos olvida que el médico de médicos se llama Jesús. His name is Jesus. Y que él llevó todas nuestras And enfermedades. He, all our y sufrió todos And nuestros dolores. All our pain. Y por su herida And nosotros hemos sido stripe, curados. We have all been healed. Y si usted está enfermo, And if you have a sickness, no espere más. No espere más. Entienda que Jesús Jesus, ya hizo la obra. Por eso, en Isaías 53, 53, 4 y 5, dice ciertamente, says, surely, y ese ciertamente sin lugar a dudas, Él, he, Jesús, Jesus, llevó sobre su cuerpo nuestras enfermedades. Note que toda enfermedad que Notice nosotros teníamos, Jesús la Jesus llevó en su cuerpo. Él mismo pagó el precio. Él mismo ofrendó su he vida. Él aceptó ser sacrificado. Y todo lo hizo por nosotros. Y por eso dice, y por and su vida, That is why it says that by llaga, his stripes, by his stripes, stripes we have been healed. Él ya nos dio He la has already given us our healing. Ahora, todo Now it all depends de la manera como nosotros on lo the way in which we believe. Cuando oré por mi esposa, When I prayed for my wife, yo oré I prayed, fundamentado en este principio. Él llevó nuestras He enfermedades. Y así es And como so, oro that's how I pray. por mis hijas, for my daughters, mis hijos, for my o mi hijo, or my son, mis nietos. My grandchildren. Y todos saben que el know Señor respalda. That the Lord always answers Cuando cualquiera de mis nietos se enferma. El papá o la mamá dice, voy a orar. Their parents, they say, no, llévame donde el abuelo. Uh, well, they say, that my grandchildren say, bring me to grand grandpa. Entonces siempre me buscan. And so they always look for me. Para que ore por ellos. So that I pray for them. Porque ven. Because they know. Que el Señor hace milagros. That God is a miracle working Nuestro God. Nuestro Dios es un Dios de Our milagros. God is a miracle working God. Y hoy, And today, Dios quiere sanar God wants to bring a los que están enfermos. Any of you who have a sickness, porque tal vez le han dicho, su problema es muy grave. That you have a terrible sickness, no sabemos qué hacer. And they just don't know what to do. Pero tenga paciencia. But be patient. No. No. Ya Jesús Jesus llevó su enfermedad has already taken your sickness. hace muchos años He did it many sobre years su ago. cuerpo He took his sickness para que on tú his body te mantengas so sano. You and I could be y hoy es el día and today is the de day su sanidad. Of your healing. Hoy, today, hoy, today, hoy, today, no mañana. Not tomorrow, hoy es today el día is the day de su sanidad. Of your healing. Ahora me gustaría saber Now, I would like to know cuántos hay how many of you here que necesitan un milagro de sanidad. Miracle of healing in your body. Levante la mano. If that is so, raise Venga your hand. Acá Quickly run to the front. Aquella mujer Now, que padecía del flujo de sangre. Was suffering the issue of blood. Ella dijo. She said. Si tocare tan solamente if el, I can touch the el, hem el borde garment, de su manto, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, seré sana. I will be healed. Note que Jesús Notice that Jesus está acá. He is here. La Biblia dice the Bible tells donde hay dos o tres reunidos en su nombre. gathered in his name. Él estará ahí He will be there en medio de ellos. In our midst. Jesús está acá Jesus en esta reunión. Jesus is present here in this service. Y él espera and he's waiting que ustedes acepten for every one lo que ya hizo por su vida. What he's already done for you. ¿Por qué dice la palabra Why does the word of God que él llevó that he has taken en su cuerpo nuestras enfermedades? Every one of our él ya pagó el precio. He has paid the price. 
por su enfermedad for your sickness. Él pagó un precio he muy alto paid a very high price para que usted tenga salud so that you could have good health. no solamente él salvó el alma Not Only did he save your soul, él sanó el cuerpo. But he has also healed your body. Algunos creen más Some en el milagro de la salvación more on the miracle of salvation que en el milagro de la sanidad than on the miracle of healing. cuando los dos but están al mismo nivel. Are actually at the same level. Así como el Señor Just le dio vida a nuestro espíritu que estaba muerto, has given life to our spirit that was dead. Él da restauración he a nuestro also cuerpo restores our body que está afectado. That has been afflicted. Pero es solamente creerlo. But we just simply need Así to We need to accept it, sabiendo knowing que la bendición de Dios that God's blessing está a nuestro alcance. is available to every one está of us. It is available to us. Y es apropiarnos de la And promesa. so we need to take hold of God's promise. Por eso, And that's dice why la palabra, it says in the word, ciertamente, surely, sin lugar a dudas, meaning without a doubt, llevó el Jesús he Jesus sobre su cuerpo, has borne on his body nuestras enfermedades. every one of our sicknesses. Llevó todas nuestras He enfermedades took our sicknesses, todos nuestros dolores all our pain. pero las personas dicen people say nosotros lo tuvimos por azotado por herido de Dios y abatido o sea pi piensan que es algo que Jesús tenía que sufrir so people think that it is something that Jesus had to suffer pero el mismo Señor da la respuesta the Lord gives us the right answer mas el herido fue he por nuestras was rebeliones bruised. he was pierced for our transgressions molido por nuestros he pecados he was bruised for every one of our sins el castigo que and the punishment merecíamos that you and I deserved recayó sobre came él. upon him y por su and herida. by his stripes Mire a Jesús. Look at Jesus now. Sus manos fueron heridas. His hands were pierced. Sus pies fueron heridos. His feet were pierced. Su cabeza His fue herida. His head was bruised. Su rostro His fue herido. His face was struck. Su costado derecho His fue right side was pierced cuando le clavaron la lanza. pierced his side. Pero todo él lo sufrió. But he suffered it all. Para que nosotros so that you and I seamos sanos. Would be healed. Él todo lo hizo he por su sanidad. He did it all for your healing and my healing. Por nuestra salvación for our salvation, y por nuestra sanidad. Also for our Ahora, si uno cree, Now, if you believe, solamente es creer. All you have to do is believe, Señor, Lord, yo creo I believe que tú pagaste el precio de mi enfermedad. Paid the price for my sickness. Hoy quiero recibir mi sanidad. And today I want to be healed. Hoy, today, pídela para ahora. So ask him to heal you now. No para mañana. It's not for tomorrow. No le digas, si tú me quieres sanar, Don't sáname. say, if you no. want to heal me, heal me. No. Él ya lo hizo. He's already done it. Él ya lo hizo. He has already done Simplemente it. You just simply take hold of what he has already done for you. ¿Están de acuerdo conmigo? Come on, do you agree with what I'm sharing with you? Ahora, now, la Biblia dice que si está alguno enfermo, the Bible says that if anyone is sick amongst you, que los pastores oren por estas personas. Pastors, the elders pray, y la oración de fe, and the prayer of faith, sanará al enfermo. Shall heal the sick. Ahora usted va a poner la mano en la parte Now, afectada. Si no hay una parte específica, la puede poner en el corazón. Part, y van a repetir esta oración And you're going to conmigo. You're going to repeat this prayer after me. Señor Jesús. Say, Lord Jesus. Hoy reconozco. Today I acknowledge que soy pecado. That I am a sinner. Perdóname. And I ask you to forgive me. Todo lo que te ofendí. For all the ways in which I offended you. Señor Jesús. Lord Jesus. Te doy gracias. I'm so grateful to you. Porque en tu cuerpo. Because in your body. Llevaste mis enfermedades. You took all my sickness. Mis dolores. My pain. Mis pecados. My sins. Y por tu llaga. And by your stripe. Hemos sido curados. Every one of us have been healed. Señor Jesús. Lord Jesus. Hoy Today, aplico la sangre. I plead the blood. Que brotó de tu cuerpo. That you shed from your body. En el at the garden of Gethsemane y en la cruz. and at the cross y decreto and I decree que la sangre de Jesús that the blood of Jesus absorbe absorbs toda enfermedad, all sickness todo dolor, all pain que ha atacado mi cuerpo, that has attacked my body que ha atacado mis emociones, and has attacked my emotions que ha atacado mis pensamientos, and has attacked my thoughts todo es arrancado de raíz. And all of that is taken from the root. Llevado a la cruz. It is taken to the cross. Y destruido. And it is destroyed. En la cruz del Calvario. At the cross of Calvary. Soberano Dios. Sovereign Lord. Gracias. Thank you. Porque por la sangre Because de Jesús. Because by the blood of Jesus. 
Yo soy cura. I am healed. Yo soy libre de I enfermedad. am set free from sickness. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Lord. Por el milagro de for mi the sanidad. miracle of healing. Es en el nombre in de Jesus' Jesus. name we pray. Sigue con la mano ahí puesta Now en la parte afectada. Keep your hand over the area that is affected. Mientras lloro por ustedes. While I pray for you. Padre, en este momento. Father, right now. Presento cada vida present every person that is que está anhelando ese milagro de sanidad healing, en su cuerpo, en sus cuerpos. Bodies, decreto Lord, I decree que la sangre de Jesús Jesus viene ahora mismo right now, sobre cada uno de ellos y el espíritu de enfermedad que vino a atacar a cada una de estas personas es atado ahora mismo that spirit is bound right now. con la sangre del it Cordero inmolado de by Dios of the Lamb of God es arrancado de raíz de estas vidas from their lives. todo es llevado a la cruz del Calvario the cross of Calvary. y todo queda destruido en esa cruz at the cross. es una orden que doy it is an order that I speak en el nombre right de now, Jesús in the name of Jesus. ahora Padre now, Father, sopla aliento de vida breathe your breath of life sopla aliento breathe de vida breathe your breath of life on them Sopla Lord, breathe de vida your breath of life cada uno upon every one of them. Y que yo And Lord, allow them to feel que tú has that you sanidad have brought healing a sus vidas. to their bodies. Es en el nombre In de Jesus' Jesus. name I pray. Es en el nombre In de Jesus', Jesus name I pray. Y mientras estás adorando And al while Señor, you are worshiping God, vas a empezar a hacer you're going to begin no to do antes. whatever it is that you couldn't Va do because of the sickness. If you couldn't move, you're going to move. A sentir que ya el you're going to feel that the miracle has begun to take place. Empezó. You're going to feel that the miracle is being operated Empieza in you. Come on, milagro. start activating the miracle. Activate it. In faith. in faith, move in faith now. Porque la está because the anointing, la the anointing is here. The anointing is here. The anointing is here. Accept the miracle. Yes, Accept receive the, the miracle. Accept Accept it now. The miracle. Accept the miracle. Accept it now. Y levanta los brazos. And now you lift your hands up. Y dale las gracias And al you Señor. give things to the Lord. Y dile gracias, And you Señor. say to him, thank you, Lord. Gracias. Thank gracias. you. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias thank you. Thank you for the miracle. Gracias. Gracias. Thank, gracias. thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a mighty hand. Escuche. Now listen. Cuando Dios hace un milagro, When God hace un does a miracle, it's a real miracle. Hoy empezó el Señor Today, el milagro. Today the Lord has started the miracle in you. Pero ahora depende de ustedes. But now it depends on you. El conservar el milagro. To preserve the miracle. El enemigo trata the enemy, de lanzar dardos. He tries to throw fiery darts. Eso es para otros. That no para ti. is for someone else, not for you. No crees a mentira Don't del you diablo. believe his lies. El Señor pagó el precio the Lord por ti. has paid the price for Diga, you. El Señor pagó el Come precio on, say it with me. God has paid the price for me. Y por su llaga. And by his stripe, yo he sido curado I have been curada. healed, completely healed. Dar un aplauso Come on, a give Jesus a great hand of praise. ¿Cuántos sintieron How many of you felt que hoy el Espíritu del Señor the les tocó? Levante la mano. Levante la mano. Raise your hand, levante la mano. If so, raise your hand. Levante la mano. Raise your hand if so. Raise your hand if so. Y diga, Señor, and say, Lord, gracias. Thank you por el milagro for the miracle que has hecho en mi vida. that you've operated in me. Yo sé I know que lo que tú empezaste that what hoy, you have started today, culminarás. you will bring it to perfection. Amen. 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 Come on, give the Lord a great hand Dios of praise. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Come and give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We serve a miracle working God. Hallelujah. Why don't you all stand to your feet? Just stay where you are. Hallelujah. Pastor Cesar, we love you so, so very much. You and Pastor Emma Claudia, you are such a blessing to us. And we're so privileged to call you our pastors. And we are so privileged to be discipled by you. And thank you for being with us this week. And all the time that you've spent here, we have been enriched. And, um, you know, and we're going to be carrying on with what you have imparted into us. 
we're going to continue doing the work so that Africa will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, give our pastors a great hand. Hallelujah. We love you. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. And while every head is bowed, every eye is closed. Maybe there's somebody here you've not yet given your life to Jesus. I want to give you that opportunity. Hallelujah. There you go. Can we stop clapping, please? Thank you. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Become aware of the presence of God. Maybe there's somebody here you've not yet given your life to Jesus. Going to church doesn't mean you're Christian. Calling yourself Christian doesn't mean you're a child of God. To be a child of God, you have to be born of God. And maybe this is the first time that you are here. This is the first time you've come to church. You've experienced the power of God. You've experienced the healing move of God in your life today. But to be made whole, you've got to invite Him into your life. And God will come in and change your heart and you'll never be the same again. You know, you can modify your behavior through discipline. But you cannot change your heart. You cannot change your nature. Only God can change you. But for that to happen, you've got to accept that you're a sinner before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I need you in my life. But I'm done with life the way I've been doing it. I want to serve you. I want to follow you. I want to be a child of God. And when you invite Jesus into your life, he will change you. He'll transform your life. You'll never be the same again. Listen to what I'm saying. But you have to make the decision. You have to choose Jesus. And therefore, I want to give you that opportunity here today. Maybe you've never done it in your life, or maybe you've done it, but you've backslidden. You've moved away from God. You know, you know you're not serving God the way you should, but you want to come back to the Lord today. If that's you, I want to give you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Come back to Jesus. Every head bowed, every eye closed. You say, Bert, I want to be a child of God or I want to come back to Jesus. If that's you, quickly slip up your hand. One, two, three. Quickly raise your hand. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I see those hands. Thank you. You can put your hands down. I want to ask one more time. The Bible says now is the time of salvation. God is speaking to you now. He's challenging your heart now. And you might feel conflicted within your heart, but that's God speaking to you. Do not reject the voice of God in your life. You're not guaranteed that you'll be alive tomorrow. There's people that woke up this morning that will not see the end of this day. They don't even know it yet, but you'll stand before God. You say, remember, I spoke to you. You rejected me. Don't reject the voice of God in your life today. You might leave this place and never ever sense you need God. Never be conflicted in your heart again. But one day, whether it's 50 years, 20 years, you'll stand before God and you'll say, remember that Sunday, I spoke to you. I spoke to you. You rejected me. Therefore, don't let that moment go by. God wants to save you. He wants to set you free. Therefore, while every head is bowed, every eye is closed, if that's you and you never raised your hand and you want to do it, quickly slip up your hand right now. One, two, three. Quickly slip up your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see those hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to do one more thing. If you raised your hands, it's important that I do a personal prayer with you, a prayer of salvation. And won't you grab your belongings? Don't leave it on the chair. Quickly come out in the aisles. Quickly come stand here in front with me. If you raise your hand, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, yes. Come on, church, encourage him. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's your moment. Yes. Come and be one. Yes. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Come on. Come, come as you are. The King's calling you. Stand before His throne of grace. Come on. Hallelujah.
the mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 This is huge. So many of you standing here in front. God loves you. God cares for you. It's your time. This is your moment of breakthrough within your life. Hallelujah. If you need to be in front here and you're not in front, you mean to run quickly. Quickly. I want to pray. You need to run. If you're not here, come forward. We've all stood here some other stage in our lives. You need to come forward. Let God do a work within your life. Am I waiting for somebody? Am I waiting for somebody? You need to come. Hallelujah. God is speaking to you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Come on, give them a hand. Give them a hand. Yes. Come, young man. Come, young man. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Every head bowed, every eye closed. All of those connected to us on television, radio, you pray this prayer with me. Say to me, dear Jesus, I am a sinner. I need you in my life. Please forgive my sin. Take out this old nature. Fill me with your spirit. Everything that I am, I surrender unto you. My whole life, I give to you, Lord. And I thank you that you change me. I believe your word that says, if I receive you and believe, I have the right to be called the child of God. And thank you, Lord. As from now, I belong to you. And nothing can snatch me out of your hands. And nothing can separate me from your love. And I thank you, Lord, that every power of the devil is broken over their lives right now in the name of Jesus. Every curse removed. You now belong to Jesus, a head of protection around you. In Jesus' name, you are a child of God. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This 3C Live experience was brought to you by the 3C Media Production. For more information, call us on 86 triple one two three four five or log on to my 3c.tv or you could write to us at p.o box 10508 centurion 0046 or email us at tv at my 3c.tv if you need prayer sms the word pray followed by your prayer request to triple three four seven and our team of prayer warriors will pray for you for 30 days if you would like to become a partner with the ministry, SMS the word PARTNER to 33347 and one of our team members will get back to you within the next few days. You can follow Pastors Bert and Shane Pretorius on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram to be inspired daily by morning devotions, ministry updates and much, much more. Log on to my3c.tv for more information.